Welcome to episode four of Wolverine Hockey Wednesdays. If you're here with us live, you are listening to 88.3 WCBN FM Ann Arbor. If not, thank you for tuning in wherever you get your podcasts. I'm your host, William Gregory, today joined by a couple of repeat panelists, 21-year-old sophomore Luke Beely, <laughs> chronic Chicagoan Kobe Siegel, and Taylor Swift fan Kendall Spencer. Today, we're going to complete an all-time Michigan hockey draft. Anyone who has skated for the Wolverines for any length of time is eligible. You may select a player on the merit of their NHL or Michigan career. We will be selecting a starting lineup, three forwards, two defensemen, and a goalie. If we have time, we'll take some other bench players. Um, by virtue of Luke's last name starting with B, he'll pick first, with the order descending alphabetically by last name in a snake format. But before we get to the draft, we've got two Michigan men's hockey games to cover. I will say the women's hockey team won 3-1 to one against Grand Valley State last Friday, October 13th. While the men's team was in Amherst, Massachusetts, winning 7-2 to two against UMass and then dropping the second game 3-6, to six, although that score was a little bit misleading. There were two empty net goals towards the end um, that widened the gap from the original 3-4 to four score. Any thoughts on uh, Michigan's goaltending? Some scoring, Garrett Schiske and D- uh, Dylan Duke scored two goals each in the first game. But any thoughts on the men's team so far? 2-2 two and two overall. Um, uh, no West is on the board for goalies. I'll, I will say that. <laughs> He's on the board. What do you mean? <laughs> the draft board. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, doesn't sound like the weekend went great for the guys, but, um, <laughs> I now don't know, man. Number seven in the poll. They're down to seven, you said? And the only, you know, St. Cloud's one and three, they're ranked 20, uh, but they're the only two lost team besides them. Yeah, that's not great. Not a great start for the guys, but. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we'll we'll monitor the scores as the season goes on. Uh, Ohio State next up this weekend, the 20th mm. and the 21st. That'll be a tough test uh, as the start of the Big Ten season commences. But we're here for the all-time draft. Luke, you have the first overall pick. Let's do it, man. Da-da-da. Give me number one. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, number one. I'm going to take a guy that can get it done. Uh, I, need a, I need a goal scorer. I need a point getter. I need a playmaker. Uh, we're going to go Brendan Morrison. 155 games played, 284 total points. This is a guy that can make it happen, a guy that's going to start me off in the center position and make it happen for me. I love him at one. One of three Hobie Baker winners. Absolutely. In a Michigan uniform joining now Adam Fantilli uh, and Kevin Porter, who won in, I think, 07, 08. Any thoughts on that, you guys? I mean, Brendan Morrison, that's a pretty solid pick, number one overall. I mean, it's the right answer. I don't even need need to hear from you guys anyway, so... (laughs) Okay. I'm yeah. sorry I'm not enough for you. See? No okay. comment on that. Thank you. Okay. So, number two overall, this is my pick. And this was a little controversial for Luke, he told me, but I don't think it is. I'm going with a player-coach model. I'm selecting Red Berenson, second overall. He's going to coach this team. He had an All-American last season at Michigan when he was in college, 43 goals in his final year. What One, year was that, by the way? doesn't matter. Okay. We're not doesn't drafting matter. him now. Okay. Yeah, we're okay, dra- okay, okay. Okay, like I would take Babe Ruth on an all-time <laughs> Major League Baseball team. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you take Babe Ruth's uh, bones. Well, maybe not Babe Ruth. I'd, I'd take Hank Aaron, who was contemporaneous with Red Berenson on an MLB all-time draft. Well, here's my thing with taking Red. Uh, if you look up any film on this guy, you can't get any results because it was <laughs> before the age of film. That's so I, I can't take him because I've never seen this guy okay. play. And we're also comparing also, Red Berenson. Who's he, he played in the NHL. Is played he in for the Hall of Fame? I don't think so. Well, like, as a coach, probably. <laughs> He's going to be. Um, and I just – he was so good as Michigan's head coach for 30-plus years. That's true. I can give you like, that. He's going to lead this team simultaneously on the ice and from the bench, um, and I'm I'm confident with this pick. You got to pick him. He also played for the Red Wings for a little bit. That might be a, a theme with this team for me. We'll see. Okay, I like Kobe, it. you're up. Pick three. All right, so I could take the best player, or I go Dude. the value pick, which is Marty Turco. That's yeah. who I'm going to go with. I hate it. There are very few. Uh, goaltenders and um 
I mean, he is a Chicago Blackhawks legend. Uh-huh. Played, uh, he played 29 <laughs> games in 2011 for the Blackhawks. So, I mean, uh, he's, he's got that going for him. He was a one-time All-Star and I think by far uh, the best goalie on the board. Yeah, and so as Kobe takes a goalie, it will probably be a little bit until another goalie is taken, to be honest. We got AHL guys, we got NHL career backups, so we'll see. Kendall is up next, pick four, top goalie off the board. You know, I was really tempted to just draft like a lineup of besties and like just pick players that I like and not actually go for like value or skill. I just want a team of like fun times. I don't know. Um, but I guess I'll go with a decent pick here. I don't know, not a bestie. I'm going to go with f- not football John Madden. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then your next pick, you have back to back, and then you can extrapolate. And now I can take a bestie. I'm taking this is such a bad pick, and I don't even care. I'm taking Quinn Hughes. Hey, yes. There's nothing wrong with that pick. <laughs> Solid D man. So my favorite Hughes brother, best Hughes brother. Don't test me. Oh. Okay. Now are you are you going to take, even no. though he didn't play for Michigan, <laughs> Jack Hughes? <laughs> just just and say then, it confidently and be like. And then later Luke Hughes. You no. won't. Okay. Okay. Kobe's up with his next pick. So I could uh, make Kendall upset and pick Luke Hughes. Or I literally just said I don't want him. Okay. <laughs> then, let's, 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 let's. Okay. Okay. <laughs> then I might as well take who, in my opinion, is wrong by, by yeah, far right, man. the number one uh, player on the board, Max Pacioretty. Oh, he played Michigan? Was going. Yeah. yeah. I don't, <laughs> I don't I know by like, far if Luke's I had no clue where that was. I thought that was going to be Luke Hughes. I was like, no, Max no, Pacioretty. No, no. Okay, that's fine. Remember okay, any other? I, I forget who said it, but somebody on Michigan's roster last year, uh, Max Pacioretty was their favorite player, favorite athlete ever, favorite Michigan athlete. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> He's uh, a good player, but, but man. Yeah. He's a smart ever. guy. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a good pick. I, <laughs> I, I'm gonna have a theme to my team, to be honest. Let's do it. Uh, this next guy. Is it old people? No, no. <laughs> May, well, okay, <laughs> no, he's not. Uh, a guy later might be. I'm taking Gross Points own oh, my 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 theme. buddy, even though I've never met him, Columbus Blue Jacket Zach Wierenski, <laughs> to Boy. fill in. The number one spot. That's a D-man I had circled on the board. I'm not going to lie to you. He just got signed to a big deal with the Blue Jackets. Continues, uh, or the Blue Jackets continued a tradition of uh, acquiring Michigan Wolverines with Fantilli, uh, Brindley waiting until he leaves uh, school, and then Blankenberg, who's in the AHL right now in Cleveland, but has been up with Columbus, and then Ken Johnson too. So I'm I'm happy with that pick. Number one D-man, Zach Wierenski. And then maybe uh, a buddy might come by later in the draft for him. <sighs> Am I on the clock? I talking about, I think. Uh, yes. I'm on the clock. Okay. All right. So I got the center spot filled. I'm going to take a man out of Warren, Michigan. Six foot, 194 pounds. Um, by the name of Denny Felsner. Left wing. Um I am loading my offense up with goal scorers and point makers. This guy has, in his last season at Michigan, 44 games played, 94 points. This guy can make it happen. This offensive line is going to be ruthless. And I'm back on the clock again, correct? Yes, you are. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm just reading the franchise all-time points. So I don't even know if this guy plays right wing, but we're going to put him there. Brian Wiseman. 166 games played, 249 total points. Who's who's stopping this offense? Truly, no one. Maybe someone. No, 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 no. no, no. Maybe Marty Turco. <laughs> well, I mean, well, possibly, yeah, but no one in my eyes. With that being said, I'm off the clock. Sorry about that. We had a bit of a phone call in the studio. Um. I'm sorry, I missed it. <laughs> I so answer the phone. Brian Wiseman. Okay, okay. Now I'm on the clock here. Similar to your predicament there of um, maybe slotting a guy in the wrong spot. <laughs> I might have to be doing that uh, with the Detroit Red Wings current frontline center. And I know you Ooh. have I know you have feelings about this, but 
Okay. Like I need to I need two best friends on the team. Okay. I'm taking Dylan Larkin to okay. to play with the guy who he wanted to play with, but he ended up signing an extension with the Blue Jackets. And two guys I've seen play live in Gross Point. Um they came to my high school Liggett and skated at McCann Ice Arena and we used to be able to get out of class and watch them skate. So that was pretty cool. And that's why I'm picking Dylan Larkin with my third pick. Okay. Yeah, I mean, th- that is a fantastic pick. But a more fantastic <laughs> pick is someone who has been hurt a little bit, but he is a very, very young player. Max Patsy is going to pass off his goal scoring abilities to Josh Norris, Michigan legend. Josh Norris. And uh, he had a 30 goal season a couple of years ago. Big extension, one of the Wolverines that's gotten paid. So my offense is going to be humming. <laughs> I love it. Wow, I don't know what I want to do. One second. We got time. One we time. got time to, to burn here. So, so far, um, we've seen a good mix, I think, of like, well, we haven't seen many old, old Wolverine hockey players. And the team's been around for 100 years. The oldest player so far is my selection to Red Berenson. One goalie off the board. A good balance, I think, of D-men and forwards, considering how many slots we have for each of those positions. What do you guys think so far has been the most off-the-board pick? <laughs> I don't like Marty Turco at number three. I mean, that's a goalie high off the board. But you got to understand value positional value. That's no, like yeah, that's taking, true. you know, no, Sam no, Darnold no. third overall because <laughs> he's a <laughs> quarterback. <laughs> I hate it though. I don't. I don't like well, him. Yeah, there. I don't you like hate, him. There. You hate that move that the Jets made too. Hmm. Well, I don't know enough about old Wolverines. I'm gonna be so honest. Just take a guy with a lot of points. No, I'm taking yeah, Kyle Connor. Okay, he I was like on my board. Card. I mean, yeah, that's a good pick. Um, oh, dang, I have to go again. Okay. Um, well, I say this. I'm well, going for promise over okay. past, and I'm just gonna continue taking people who I actually have <laughs> witnessed play hockey. Well, I think that makes for more entertaining. I'm gonna take content. Owen Power. Oh, that uh, yeah, that's a good yeah. I think like taking the freshman that only played one year, I think is good, is a good move <laughs> considering they are generational talents. Um and it might be something that I'm thinking about. Kobe's up next. After Wait, two, don't you have two Kendall? I drafted Kyle Connor and oh, Kyle Owen. Connor and Owen yes, Power. Yes, yes. Okay. Then okay. Owen Power's been taken, but I I'm gonna take a guy he's not that old, but <laughs> He's he is. <laughs> but, but he is third all time in Michigan points. Mike Camilleri, top. Uh, uh, he's he's gonna anchor my uh, my defensive. He's a D man. Yeah. Really? Third on points. I don't know how yeah, he slid by me, man. Uh, uh, he's just uh, old. Retro Luke Hughes, I guess. Yeah, I don't know how he slid by. I should have picked him up. All right, I'm here at pick four for me. Okay, let's do it. And this is, I think, a tough spot because I just was talking about taking generational talents, and I might have to. This this draft, you know, might be tending towards taking a lot of uh, more modern players because we don't have the full depth of knowledge on players from the 90s and 80s, but we know the guys – that have been in the NHL for our childhoods and lifetimes, and then also um, the players we've seen at Michigan. And so one of the most talented hockey players I've ever seen in my life is Adam Fantilli, and I'm going to take him here. I love that pick. And he's going to go in at the wing. Like, I have three centers, but the best players in Michigan hockey history are going to tend to be centers. They have to all share a line somehow. And so, I mean, chatter before the draft was that, is Fantilli more of a winger? Is he more of a center? So I'll put him in at the wing. I don't know. I probably would put Larkin at the wing too, and then Red at center. Mm. Seems right. You to can me. mix it around. You're the coach, right? Yeah. Well, Red's a coach, so he can do whatever he wants. He's coaching his own team. Yeah, he's a okay. player coach. Okay. Okay. Someone All right. Didn't like that. You're gonna toss me on the board here. Um, I need two D men and a goalie. Um, I think I need a little bit of grit on the team. I'm going to take the franchise all-time penalty minute leader, Chris Tamer. Hundred. 69 games played, 515 total penalty minutes. 
I know nothing about this guy's game. He has 78 total <laughs> points, but this guy can bang bodies, and that's exactly what I need. <laughs> so we'll take him first. And then second, we're going to take a guy that's had actually a decent NHL career. I believe he's still playing. He is still playing uh, with the Colorado Avalanche. This is going to be Jack Johnson. I've thought about it. Another bruiser on the D-line. This is a guy that I need to um, be an anchor on the team. Uh, this is uh, – now I need a goalie, though. That's going to be an issue. But um, the D-line is good, and we have goal, goal scorers. I'm, I'm sorry, not worried. What was your first pick? I had another phone call. Uh, I actually already forgot. It was Chris Tamer. Okay. Chris Tamer and Jack Johnson, two D-men okay. for the squad. Okay. I still need a D-man. I'm not taking a goalie here, I don't think. Okay. Um, hmm. There is still one Hobie Baker award winner left. He, I don't think, really has the reputation as a lot of the other Michigan greats do. Who would that be? Kevin Porter, 07, 08. I'm looking at this. We, I, I dug up this um, top 50 all-time Wolverines list, and I think he's 37. Let me see. 38. Played You're four on years the clock, years. man. Tick, tick. Oh, Let's go. I gotta find. I gotta find a defenseman. And I don't really know. I'm not taking Luke Hughes. Mackey's listed as a D-man in the NHL. That's interesting. Um, Got to trade this pick or something. I'm going to go with Jacob Trubo. Okay. Mm, yep. Proven NHLer. Yep. I like it. He pairs with Zach Wierenski for kind of a killer combination. It's good, not great. Not great. Great. Well, who else? Who That's else? Great. For for where I'm at right now, who else would I have taken? <laughs> I don't know, but it's good, not great. That's all I'm saying. All right. So for my pick, I already have Max Pacioretty, Josh Norris. I've got guys who can score goals, create offense, but I need someone who can be a defensive center. We can move Josh Norris to the right wing. Doesn't matter. Matty Beniers. He will. Uh, my team will not let up a goal. <laughs> it's a bold statement. I love your confidence. Um, oh, is it me? Okay. You got to keep your head on a swivel out here, eh? Back to back. Again, let's go. Don't rush me. On the clock. Okay. Um, I need another winger. Um, wait, I literally just forgot what I was about to say. My bad. Do do do. He doesn't play wing, so um, I'm going to move him there. Because, <laughs> um, who's my? And actually, I'll move uh, Madden to wing. Uh, I'm going to take Kent Johnson. Mm. Okay. Modern and now you're locked, and then a, because you're I'm, locked into a goalie here. Yeah. Uh, need to finish my team. I'm going to take God's most frustrating man. Uh-oh. Oh. Eric Portillo. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, no. Whoa. Second goalie I have, off the you board. You know what? My defense is so good, he's not, gonna, he's not even going to see a shot. So... <laughs> And then when he does, maybe he'll close his Just eyes. Just there for show or something? Yeah, because so he can he can try and play goalie closing his eyes. Oh, okay. Kobe, last pick. You do not like that guy. Okay. I, Having I, already, he oh. just frustrates me. Okay. He could be well, so yeah. good. I'm sorry. He could be so good. Having already selected a goalie. Yeah, I need a defenseman, and uh, I'm going to take another very young man, 22 years old, mi- another Michigan legend, Cam York. Oh, where's he playing right now? Anyway, Philadelphia. Philadelphia. That's right. Well, that's right. he is, he is a ginger, so they took him. It's <laughs> oh, it's the correlation. All of, all of their players are gingers or will be. Uh, second in Michigan career victories at goaltender, two Frozen Four appearances, four uh, four straight NCAA tournament appearances in all his years with the team. I am taking Steve Shields, who, again. Another guy. He played in the 90s, early 90s. Mm -hmm. Like most of Michigan's (laughs) professional goalies, did not play all that much in the NHL. 246 games played, capped out with 67 in San Jose. Uh, He went 27 and 30. Okay. You know, 91 save percentage. That's pretty good. For his career in that season, he also had 91, uh, 911. So, sure. Steve Shields. Now you're locked into a goalie here, Luke, with the final selection of the, the entire starting, draft of the starting round. We might, you know, pick some We've pick some time. of everybody's favorite players. We got ten ten minutes left. Okay, um, we are picking a goalie. Uh, this kid is six foot, 
195 pounds out of Plymouth, Michigan. Um, <laughs> he's played two games. He's a 21-year-old sophomore. He's played two games with the Michigan ACHA D3 hockey team, and it would be myself. <laughs> I think I have about a three goals against average right now and like an 85 save percentage. It's not great, but my team is fantastic. And I have to bank on myself to be that guy. And I think I can do it. So well, I love that. Who bit. do you got in front of you? Jack I, Johnson? I got <laughs> oh, Jack Johnson is going to. Jack Johnson, Chris Tamer, a couple bruisers, and then I got goal scorers. So even if my defensemen don't do their job, we're going to have at least 10 goals on the board. And I have some cushion room. To, well, that's Michigan hockey. To get to peppered. Nine. Yeah, exactly. That's Michigan hockey, if anything. Yeah, so. Um, well, you, so cushion. finish your team out. Who who do you have at forward? Okay, okay, Tell okay. The people. I got left wing Danny Felsner, center Brendan Morrison, right wing Brian Wiseman, uh, left D Jack Johnson, right D Chris Tamer, and goalie uh, myself. <laughs> Luke Beely. <laughs> there you go, Luke Beely in net. L Beely. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to make some game casts. Two career games. Yeah. For their D three team. All right, I'll go next since I pick second. I'm gonna have Red Berenson center it up. Uh, he's also going to coach the team. Then I will have Dylan Larkin to his left. I will have Adam Fantilli to his right. And then on defense, I have Zach Wierenski and Jacob Truba. In net, Steve Shields. Definitely the weak point of the team, I think. It's definitely an offensively geared team. Um, but what Michigan team won't be. And we're going to hope that we can also score 10 goals a game. I like it. Good draft. Um, I may have accidentally picked four forwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I missed your fifth That's pick. Okay. Who's your fifth pick? You just pick? need a two-way guy. Oh, well, uh, Mike Camilleri is not a defenseman. I don't know why I thought that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> That's okay. He can be I, a two-way guy. That. So yeah, yeah. But he will have to uh, He will have to play d- d- defenseman, unfortunately, on my team. But uh, Cam York will just have to be that good to help him and then uh my front line will be it'll be uh Matty Beneers at center left wing Max Pacioretty and right wing Josh Norris and Marty Turco to not allow a goal easy as that yeah easy beautiful we got where are my picks so we'll start even second Ken Johnson at center I'm moving <laughs> John not football Madden to right wing Kyle Connor at left wing, got two outstanding defensemen in Quinn Hughes and Owen Power, and once again, God's most frustrating man, Eric Portillo in goal. We will either only have shutouts or never win. Seven goals allowed. Seven goals allowed. Shout out Eric Portillo. So, I hope he is, actually. We've got a little more time left than we thought we would. Who are some guys... Maybe not that you would have taken this early, but some of your favorite Michigan hockey players that would have made their way on the team if we went, uh, you know, 18 skaters deep. I don't know. Someone's got to lead us off here. It's um, I'll go if I would have been doing my bestie draft, which I didn't because I don't know. Yeah, give us some of your besties. Picks. Um, I like JT Comfer a lot. I don't know why. Oh, I love, yeah. I, can I draft? Uh, she <laughs> didn't play. She's from Michigan. No, she didn't play. She said she would play Michigan. I'm drafting his sister. I'll take Jesse Comfort. Where did she play? She played at BU and okay. then I think went to Wisconsin and immediately won because she's elite. But she said she would have played at Michigan if we had a D1 women's team. And I love her. She's like my favorite women's hockey player. So mm, okay. give me wow. Jesse Comfort. Okay, I like it. doesn't you. count, but I like JT Comfort as well. So that's how I'm tying it in. Doing it for the Wings. Yeah, the St. Louis Detroit Red Wings. Well, the St. Louis Red they're Wings. the Detroit Red Wings now. Well... <laughs> They were blues at one point, and David Prawn didn't win a cup with you guys, now did he? Whoa. But he's going to this year or next. What did Jacob Verana do for us? <laughs> he's my bestie, actually. We're very close. Okay. So. Um, I was going to take, well, I got two two trailblazers that I was going to take. I was going to take Al Montoya, who was the first Cuban-American to play in the NHL. He would be my backup goalie. I had no idea he played for Michigan. I didn't either until I looked up other goalies that played for the University of Michigan because other than Strauss Mann, you got... Honestly, I think I would have taken him over myself you, if I would have known that. You got uh, tough sledding ahead of you. He is from Chicago, came to Michigan, first Cuban-American to play in the NHL, 
And then my other guy that I would have taken was Don Wakabayashi, who played in the '60s. Um, he was five foot six. Oh. <laughs> But he was extremely exciting, led the WCHA in scoring in 1965 and 66, first team All-American in 65. He was, in 2001, selected as one of the top 50 players in WCHA conference history, scored two goals in the 64 NCAA championship game. He signed with the Red Wings initially, played a season in the minors, and then spent 11 seasons in the Japan Ice Hockey League. Nice. And coached the Japan national team at the 1980 Olympics. So I have him as my assistant coach with Red Berenson. We're going to have a discipline unit. You won't see uh, four penalties in the first period like we saw in Michigan's last game against UMass. I'm I'm my team's coach. <laughs> okay. Nice. And a guy I think I would have tossed on my lineup too. Um, he – Played on a team that I grew up hating, and that would be the Pittsburgh Penguins. Um, Carl Hagelin. Good pick. Great player, proven vet. This guy can play. I didn't know he also wore the C at Michigan as well in 2010-2011. Uh, he's a good player, and he's one that uh, definitely snuck under my radar and one that I probably should have picked. Yeah, I I am. Uh, if, I uh, I wish I could have drafted him, but he is a writer. He plays with Connor McDavid. Um, somehow he scored 36 goals virtue of playing with uh, Connor McDavid, Zach Hyman. Just a great, great overall guy. <laughs> You're right. That is virtue of playing with Connor McDavid right there. Best when, hockey player of all time. All I really know about him is like the internet thought he had a really ugly baby and like wouldn't stop commenting on all, <laughs> all of his like Instagram so pictures. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, it's, it wasn't even that ugly of a baby. It was just like, you know, babies all kind of look weird. It was just kind of that. Speaking of former Wolverines, didn't Adam, Adam Fantilli have a point in yesterday's game, I believe? I know he didn't have a point against the Wings because we shut out the Blue Jackets 4 to nothing. He I mean, did. that's just a great team in action right there. The Detroit Red Wings shutting out the uh, Blue Jackets. But who did the Jackets play yesterday? I think Fantilli registered a point. Yeah. He, he had, uh, who did they play, though? No, Rangers? Hey, no, 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 no. Um, uh, no, they haven't played since they played the Wings. No, 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 no. They played. Why do I see he? No, I'm he has nothing. a point. Well, he they played uh, the Rangers before the Wings. Oh, oh no! Wait. And then the Flyers before that, they scored seven goals across the. So two when games. did he have a point? Then why am I seeing they're Let's one and two up. with with a win? Yeah, they beat the Rangers. <laughs> Johnny Gaudreau, two assists. And a Boone Jenner hat trick. Okay. What a name. Boone Jenner. Boone Jenner. Good Fantilli, player, too. not against the Rangers, so it would have been against the Flyers. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at the Flyers right First now. First game of the year. He did. An assist. Okay. Plus one, two shots on goal. Hit. I wonder if it was to Patrick Laine. Uh, let's see. I can tell you right now. Game cast it up. Actually, I cannot tell you right now. <laughs> okay, Laine. Laine my face. Line a goal. Nope, from Marchenko and Boone Jenner. So it was from this guy. It would be from Jake Bean. Jake Bean from Adam Fantilli and uh, Kirill Machenko, Marchenko. Okay. First so NHL point. I think one of my last guys who I, I thought about taking towards the end, but it would have been another forward, Um, I think – not a Red Wing necessarily of my childhood, but a Red Wing who was always in the front of my mind, Luke Glendening. Oh, uh, you can't hate him. He's currently on the Lightning? He is. I didn't even know that. Yep. I didn't know he played for the Stars either. Yes. Uh, so that's something. But four years at Michigan, undrafted, 500 career games with the Wings. I know I was watching the Lightning game the other day, and they were Luke Glendening, Luke Glendening. I was like... Wow. Because I watched the Lightning uh, play the Wings. Right. And I didn't see him. So I was like, what? Anyways, Luke Hughes goes undrafted in this. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew yes, Cobb, also the last Red Wing on the board, goes undrafted here. That's okay. Um, he hasn't done much with us recently. Yeah. But for Kendall Spencer, Luke Beely, Kobe Siegel, I've been William Gregory. 
Uh, we will be back with Wolverine Hockey Wednesdays next week. We don't know what the subject is yet, but... We're talking hockey. Talking hockey, talking Michigan. Maybe in two weeks we'll get the Michigan Daily Hockey Beat. Anyways, thanks for tuning in.